Uh, hey everyone, so it's been a while since I've made one of these sort of breakdown videos, but I thought I might make a breakdown video of this scene here because it is one of the few scenes that I've done in Blender recently. Um, the last sort of breakdown was in Cinema 4D and a lot of the people that watched that were actually mainly Blender users, so I thought I might also make one um, that's pretty recent that I've done in Blender. Um, a lot of the same sort of techniques still apply, but um, maybe it's helpful to see how I work here as well. I originally was inspired to make the scene because I saw a video, I believe it was by Max Hay, where he broke down these cool sort of snow particles you can do. And I was like, yep, I want to make an ice scene. So I decided to do that. And that's sort of where the idea got originated from. But yeah, I'll link his video down below on how to create this cool particle system. Um, and there's also like a volumetric fog part, which is definitely a great watch. So definitely watch that. Um, it's great to learn stuff and you also make some cool videos. So yeah, this is sort of what the sequence looks like. It's a pretty basic shot and just sort of pans in. Um, before any post processing or nuke stuff or color grading, um, this is what the render view looks like. The scene was pretty complete already. Um, so there wasn't really that much I had to do in post. It was just, you know, subtle tweaks. Um, but yeah, just sort of pans in. Pretty basic, but I feel like it looked pretty nice. These sort of terrain maps here are all from Gaia. Um, and they're pretty low resolution, if I just turn the fog off. Um, yeah, they're pretty super low resolution, but they're in the background and there's fog, so all that really mattered was getting this nice shape. Um, this front one here is also low resolution, but it's kit bashed with a lot of these assets from Quixel to sort of help out in areas that needed more detail. Could have probably done with a little bit more, but I think it was okay because we had depth of field and obviously all the fog moving. So it kind of blended it all together pretty well. Um, yeah, this big hero asset here, which is actually just a bunch of kit bashed rocks, um, is also just a one mega scans rock for the base, this one. And as you can see, it's actually not meant for a scene of such a big scale. It's a pretty small rock, but I combined it with a bunch of these. Um, and I also adjusted some settings on the nodes. Let's see, just some light adjustments, color adjustments and roughness adjustments um, and then I combined it with these cool Nordic rocks that were large more large scale uh, sort of assets so sort of sell that illusion and then obviously the fog ties everything together um, but yeah I also sculpted these cool sort of crystals I wanted to go for a Mandalore sort of style um, I'll see how I can find the image and put it in the video um, but just a pinker version of that so they have these cool scenes I think it's in Mandalore season 3 where they have these like sort of ice um or not ice but like these crystal um crystal things poking up and i got really inspired by that as well so the way i did it is pretty much it's actually two different parts so we have this main if we switch to the wireframe we have this main crystal thing and then a rock uh, part underneath it and we have the crystal with a pretty high transmission so what happens is if you view it through here you can sort of see the rock going under it which is how some crystals like that would actually look and it really has a cool sort of effect and it scatters this nice sort of um, light through the transmission part of it uh, but yeah i kind of duplicated those around this sort of crystal part here which is also pretty low low detail but it works um is actually just some quixel rocks which i then applied the shader and made a couple tweaks so it would work as well as um even though it's not really what it's meant for but it worked so um if we go out to sort of break down the lighting so we have the fog then we have the fog clumps which sort of move throughout the air which is you can find that in max's tutorial he explains it uh, probably a lot better than i would explain it and that's where i learned it so um if we just disable that the lighting is pretty basic so we have the fog which somewhat counts as lighting it carries all the light um but if we break down the basics we have the sun here which is sort of just directional um, but even by itself without the sun it looks pretty nice but it looked a bit too cold and dark would have for what i was going for and it's sort of a sunny hdri so i added the sun in because it brightens up the scene a bit and it was more of a mood um, than what i was going for and also you get these nice sort of transmission details here um if you can sort of see that that pink sort of scatters through which i found looked pretty cool you get that black pink or dark and pink dark blue pink sort of look um and i found it kind of tied it together like a sort of early morning sunrise kind of thing or sunset but yeah that's pretty much it's pretty much it it's pretty basic but 
hopefully it was useful um i'm still sort of lighting the scenes in the same way uh especially for environments like this where it's just a big sunlight to help with shadows usually it's really dependent though on the scene of course um and an hdri to sort of provide the fill lighting for the hdri itself if we uh, if we go to world i've turned it down to half you could actually probably do this at full but it's a bit bright um if we turn off the sun it sort of works but yeah this was quite a nice hdri i pretty much get all my hdris from hdri haven or i think they're called polyhaven now um so yeah they have some great stuff and yeah so hopefully this is a useful breakdown um i'll try and make more of these for uh for more scenes that i post but yeah if you have any questions let me know and i'll try my best to answer them